During a visit to an exhibition of Iranian aerial industry on Saturday, Defense Minister Brigadier General Mohammad Reza Ashtiani unveiled the two new advanced drones. Describing the unmanned aerial vehicles as a main pillar of combat and operational capabilities of Iran's military forces, the general said drones play a leading role in various arenas, from reconnaissance operations to electronic warfare. This strategic product, drone, plays a key functional role as a main system in all parts of the ground, aerial and naval battle, he noted. The minister unveiled plans to boost Iran's drone capabilities and diversify the utilities of the UAVs used by the military forces. Iranian military experts and technicians have in recent years made great headways in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient in the arms sphere. Speaking to reporters on Thursday on the sidelines of Payambari Azam 17, the Great Prophet, war game, underway along Iran's southern coasts, Major General Salami said a range of UAVs have been effectively utilized in the drill. The commander said the new combat, suicide and reconnaissance drones have become the new components of the IRGC ground forces attack power. Hailing the IRGC ground force as a unit ensuring Iran's independence, territorial integrity and national security, the general said the troops attending the exercise have practiced various operations. The units taking part in the war game have taken advantage of the offense power of helicopters, fired various rockets and missiles, and used bounding mines against the enemy's mobile targets, he noted. The ongoing war game covers the coastlines of the southern provinces of Hormozgan, Bushur, and Khuzestan. In comments on Wednesday, IRGC Ground Force Commander Brigadier General Mohammad Pakbar said the assault and combat drones in possession of the IRGC are capable of targeting any place and destroying any target. In the final stage of Payambari Azam 17, the Great Prophet exercise, underway along Iran's southern coasts, the IRGC ground force flew various combat and reconnaissance drones over the drill zone. The suicide UAVs that have been recently supplied to the IRGC ground force detonated a number of targets on Wednesday. Moreover, the Mohajir 6 drones hit the targets with smart keem bombs with pinpoint accuracy. In another part of the drill, the Sabran Special Forces Brigade practiced amphibious warfare tactics. An aerial assault operation was also carried out using the helicopters of the IRGC Ground Force Airborne Division, including Cobra attack choppers, Mil Mi-17 and Tufan, Hurricane. The ongoing war game covers the coastlines of the southern provinces of Hormozgan, Bushur, and Khuzestan. In comments on Wednesday, IRGC Ground Force Commander Brigadier General Mohammad Pakbar said the assault and combat drones in possession of the IRGC are capable of targeting any place and destroying any target. Israel successfully tests new laser missile defense system. Israel's new laser missile defense system has successfully intercepted mortars, rockets and anti-tank missiles in recent tests, Israeli leaders said Thursday. The Israeli-made laser system, known as the Iron Beam, is designed to complement a series of aerial defense systems, including the more costly rocket intercepting Iron Dome. This may sound like science fiction, but it's real, said Prime Minister Naftali Bennett. The iron beam's interceptions are silent, they're invisible and they only cost around $3.503 a piece, he added. Little is known about the laser system's effectiveness, but it is expected to be deployed on land, in the air and at sea. The goal is to deploy the laser systems around Israel's borders over the next decade to protect the country against attacks. Thursday's announcement also sent a message to Israel's foes, including archenemy Iran. The tests took place last month in the Negev Desert. The announcement came near the anniversary of the 11-day Israel-Gaza war, in which Gaza's ruling Hamas militant group fired more than 4,000 rockets toward Israel. 
Israel said its Iron Dome defense system has been a great success, with a 90% interception rate against incoming rocket fire. But officials say the system is expensive to deploy. Bennett has said someone in Gaza can fire a rocket toward Israel for a few hundred dollars, but it costs tens of thousands of dollars for the Iron Dome to intercept it. The Defense Ministry released a short video showing what it said were the new system's successful interceptions of rockets, mortars and an unmanned aerial vehicle. The video, which was highly edited and set to music, appeared to show a laser beam coming out of a ground station, hitting the targets and smashing them into small pieces. Bennett said in February that Israel would begin using the system within a year. Israel has already developed or deployed a series of systems meant to intercept everything from long-range missiles to rockets launched from just a few kilometers, miles, away. It has also outfitted its tanks with a missile defense system. Talks on restoring Iran's tattered nuclear deal with world powers have stalled. Israel opposes the deal, saying it does not do enough to curb Iran's nuclear program or its military activities across the region, and Israeli officials have said they will unilaterally do what's necessary to protect the country.